Here I will do some edits in curves and masking to give this image a matte finish with a faded look in Snapseed. So for this image I will do few edits with curves tool to get the desired look. Before that I will do a precise selection of the main subject with masking which would be done for only one time but the same selection will be applied on subsequent edits with the curves. You will see how. First I will start by going to the curves tool and applying it without making any edits. Then with masking that is tap the stacks icon on the top right, view edits, tap the curves and then brush. Here I will try to do a precise selection of the main subject. With the effect not applied and the brush value at 100, I will brush on the subject. Zoom in especially around the edges to make the selection very precise. This will take a bit of time. Also selecting the hair might be tricky because getting the selection of the strands of hair and the outer edges is almost impossible. So I'll just try to make the selection just where the hair is pretty opaque. So I have made the selection here. Now I will just duplicate this curves edit by going to the three dot menu and copying and inserting which also copies the selection mask. Now to the first curves again. I will try to darken the background by dragging the curve down then apply it. As the selection is still the main subject, I will go here and toggle the selection so the selection now is the background. So the background is darker now. Now for the latest curves copy. I will apply the soft contrast preset which obviously is applied only on the main subject because of the already saved selection mask. Next I will make one more copy, this time to add some orange tint to the skin by selecting the red color option and dragging it upwards, then blue downwards. As the opposite of blue is yellow, it adds yellow to the subject here. Next another copy again, this time to brighten the subject by dragging the RGB curve upwards. One more copy of curves, here I will again add red and yellow, this time to make the hair blonde, also a little brightness. Then go to masking. And brush the hair for selection. And apply it. This time I will add a new curves effect and add some blue shade to the shadows by dragging the lower point of the blue curve a little upwards. One more effect in curves, this time to add some faded effect to the overall image. Drag the lower point upwards to crush the blacks, upper point downwards to crush the whites which would make the whites little more grayish to give the image a faded look. So these are the edits done after each curves effect.
and finally before and after thanks for watching